One win is in the books as BYU makes a historic run at perfection, but the college football season is far from over. Robbie Bolos tells us why that run won't be easy. As the 2008 football campaign begins, the BYU Cougars are looking to take their program from good to great. As with any worthy goal, theirs does not come without obstacles, and three teams on the Cougars' schedule have a viable shot at spoiling BYU's quest for perfection. BYU concluded their storybook 1996 season ranked fifth in the nation. With a 14-1 record, a road loss to the Washington Huskies was the only thing separating BYU from an undefeated season. This year, the Cougars head back to Seattle, where they are 0-3. Recently, non-conference road games have been the Achilles heel for BYU, who has lost its last nine. In fact, all four of their losses in the last two seasons have come in non-conference road contests. In 1999, head coach Rick Neuheisel was in his first year at the helm for the Huskies when Washington lost at BYU. This season, he will return to Provo as a first-year head coach, this time for the UCLA Bruins. After losing to UCLA in the regular season, BYU's magical victory in last year's Las Vegas Bowl ended a 24-year, seven-game losing streak to the Bruins. With that win, BYU enters the season with a 10-game winning streak, the longest in the nation. But the Cougars are 0-3 against the Bruins at home, including a loss in 1985 which ended BYU's 25-game winning streak, also the longest in the nation. The 2008 edition of the Holy War could be more epic than ever before. If the Cougars are to crash the BCS party, they will have to do it with a win in Salt Lake City, where in 2004, Utah became the first BCS buster with a win over BYU. This year, the Utes will be looking to end the nightmares that have undoubtedly been haunting them. Bekta Harleen handed them a stunning defeat at home in 2006, and 4th and 18 led to a come-from-behind victory for BYU last season. Both teams could enter Rice-Eccles Stadium on November 22nd with 11-0 records in a battle that could shake the national stage. Robbie Bolo, BYU Sports Network. And the Holy War is underway.